Hello and welcome once again to another episode of Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit. There's some mail in here. There's some junk mail shit in here. Oh, and also, one of my good YouTube friends, Ben Hughes, obviously, from obviouslybenhughes.com, opened up a P.O. box and set it on Twitter, and I was like, oh, snap, we're going to be pen pals, because I do this mail thing, and, I mean, I'm pretty good at it. So, I'm going to send him a bit of mail. I urge you guys to help fill up his mailbox, too. The address, which you can see right here, is Ben Hughes, P.O. Box, 10803 at Savannah, Georgia, 31401. I love how I said at, like it's a Twitter address. That doesn't make sense. So, I'm going to send him a package. Oh, if it fits, it ships. What am I going to send him? Well, candy, obviously, for obviously Ben Hughes. Uh... But, you know, I really like candy, so I'm just going to send the stuff I don't like. And although I really like Now and Laters, the banana ones are one of the most foul things ever. Yep, so in those go. We'll make it fit. That's what she said, obviously. Oh, it doesn't even rattle around. Perfect. Sealing this bad boy up. Before I go any further, I am going to take a Works Energy Extra Strength Shot. Let's see how this tastes. Well, I guess down it goes. Not too bad. It's like sugar-free Kool-Aid. Oh, the person who is editing this video today. Link right here to their channel. Please go to their channel and give them a big thank you for editing this mail video. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. Oh well, let's go. First package. Big package. Because I like those big packages. Ladies? That doesn't make any sense. Where's my letter open? This one comes all the way from Amazon. Let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Huh. That's interesting. What's inside of this box, you may ask? Oh, that's easy. It's another box. So, you know, instead of just shipping this Amazon box, they put it inside of another Amazon box. Maybe they forgot to put the packing slip inside of this one. This is from Janet LaCava. Mr. Dear Jory, here's a set of two more solar dancing flowers. Please don't break them. Interestingly enough, these dancing flowers here don't dance. Like this one, this broken one, it's the only one that kind of dances. The other ones just sit there, and I can't get them to go. Why do I have so many dancing flowers? It's okay, guys. You can stop sending me dancing flowers. They're great and all, but I really have quite enough of them. Maybe they just have to be more in the sun. Maybe that's not direct enough light. They need more power. They just can't get cotton. They just don't have the power. That was a terrible, terrible impression, wasn't it? It's okay, I was always more of a Star Wars guy. Does that make me a bad person? To some of you, I'm sure that's like the worst thing I could possibly say. Trust me though, I could say much worse. I won't, because this, this is a family show where I swear a lot and drink massive amounts of ginger ale. Can you see all of those? I think you can. Isn't that brilliant? Look at all those flowers. Oh my god. There is so much pollen up in here. I'm not allergic to pollen, but just looking at that makes me sneeze. That might be because I'm also sick right now. But I won't go into those details, because the devil is in those. Okay, next piece of mail is from, I don't know, there's a sticker covering it up. Katie Oakley. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, oh wait, it is sealed a little bit. What side of that? Just two. Oh, just that side. That's weird. It says, Goomba protects the mail. There is a Goomba. Jory, I finally quit procrastinating these drawings. This is my first portrait of a person. I used a mechanical pencil. Hope you enjoy both drawings. Uh, there will be more to come. Katie Oakley. And then there's a cow. And it says, Moo! No, that's, that's a very terrible cow impression. That's... I can't do a cow. I give up. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, for drawing me. Uh, you really captured my nipple there. I'm flattered? And there's also this drawing. Which is all in color and shit. What we got going on here? Hysteria. Yeah. Thank you, Katie. Drink time. Mm. 
first piece of junk mail slips, trips, and falls. This, strangely, is uh, relevant for me. Um, but I won't open it. Because then I would be safer. Is it okay to smell your own brain farts? This is getting weird, isn't it? Okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. This, uh, nothing really to say about this one. I only chose to have this on the mail show because it says diabetes, and I think Wilford Brimley is one of the funniest comedians ever. Next thing, baby talk. Next piece of mail is from Kevin Walton from La Canada, California? But it has a squiggle over the N, the Enye, Kenyatta. That's weird. That's, that's weird. On the back it says, sealed up like Fort Knox to prevent Matrix. The Dev. I haven't gotten a piece of mail from him in a while. What is, what is up with that? What do we got in here? What do we got? There's a little itty bitty piece of bazooka gum in there. There's also a Hershey bar, which is... Kind of syrupy in here right now. And then there's also a note in here. It says, Ha! Bisky! Let's see what it says. Jewelry plus candy plus mail videos plus ginger ale equals awesome. Included. Hershey bar. Red and gold. Zero, zero bags of nuts. Official hibiski colors. Is red and gold official hibiski colors? I didn't know that. What does he have on the back? Hey, Bisky Jory, my name is Kevin, and I am a huge fan. My main reasons for writing was that I was wondering, number one, what are your top ten favorite movies of all time? Top ten? I can't go that far. My number one favorite movie of all time is Shawshank Redemption. Anything past that? I don't even know. Number two, what was your favorite microwave show experiment? Airbag. I mean, it's the one that tried to kill me, but it was a lot of fun, and looking back... You know, when you're flirting with uh, some disaster there, that's kind of fun. Maybe that's why skydiving is popular. Number three, how many times has Matrix sent his picture to you? Millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions? I can't go past that. I'm sure there are numbers that go beyond there, but will we ever encounter them in our lives? No. He ends with, Ha, Bisky! Hope you answer. I totally did. Reply if Matrix has not captured you yet. I did reply in video form, kind of. Next is a piece of junk mail. It is samples. I love samples. Although, I don't think I can use this one. Why is it so hot? Oh. Shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, I can't use that. I. Why do I get useless samples? I mean, I really should use them. Those two new flowers are going, but their, their heads won't rock. Why is it only that'll go? Next piece of mail is Microwave Product Digest. Always excited to get this one. Then I finally actually opened it up and looked through it. There are no microwaves in this. Now, there might be things in there that do, like, microwave stuff, but there's no... I mean, I want, like... It's kind of like if you were attracted to women and they sent you just pictures of severed legs. I don't... I mean... I guess some people might have a fetish for that. I don't really, I don't want to see my microwaves uh, split in half. That sounds <clears throat> weird. Think of how sexy a microwave could be if it was professionally photographed. It could be really, maybe the door is open just a, a flirty little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with that? I don't even know what part that is. What is that? Is that supposed to arouse me? I don't know. Cover it up. That's disgusting. Okay, next piece of mail is from somewhere. Doesn't say who it's from. On the back it says, Jory, enjoy this packet of crap from British Pal? Sheridan Blackhead and Friends. And then and then it says, I didn't do this, and there's a kiss right there. That's great. That's that's tasty. That's good. That's sweet. That's, there is a lot of crap in here. You are right. And everything? Okay. Let's see what we got. There is a piece of paper with kiss on it. That's great. There is a receipt for jewelry. Coming to 10 pounds. Empty wrapper. That's great. Really would like it to be... 
post-it note. That's sweetness. Uh, what is this? Is this birth control? Micro Guinan? Oh no, it's for Bayer, but Guinan? That sounds, that sounds like a birth control product. There is a bag for, what the fuck? Why do you send me useless shit? Oh, well, that would explain it. There's a picture of Matrix Devonshire. And a picture of Matrix Devonshire. And a picture of Matrix Devonshire. And a picture of Matrix Devonshire. Oh, what's that? That's right. It's a picture of Matrix Devonshire. There's also a newspaper. Uh, well, that's graphic. It's a headline for Bin Laden. And then he drew in a, a penis next to it. You can imagine where it is. I won't tell you if you can. Another newspaper. Thanks, Sheridan. That's great. Really wish I had that candy. Next piece of mail is Tampico Spice Company. Ah, oh, stuff is falling out. Fuck. Did they really just throw spice into a fucking envelope like this? Tampico, why would you do this? You guys are fucking dumb. Lemon pepper. Great. Oh, thanks for the lemon pepper now that's all over my floor. Fuck. Sh should I taste it? <laughs> I won't. Unless there's something else in here that probably could use some lemon pepper spice. I don't know. I don't know. Next piece of mail is from Sir Iron Oxide. I need a drink. Oh, I think some lemon pepper fell into that. What does Sir Iron Oxide have to say here? Hip, hip. Dear Jory Karen, hey Mr. Karen, how have you been? I'm glad you liked my monkey postcard. You got the beer can, guess wrong. There are seven beer cans in the postcard. Matrix has captured me and wants me to remind you, you will be his very soon. I have given us captives? I have given us captives of, I don't know, that doesn't, an, oh, he has given the captives of Matrix a nickname. We are the Lessie. Lossi? Lessie? Lessie. And Matrix is our leader, a.k.a. Pulse Felice. Fel I don't understand French. To see a friend. Okay, what do we got? And there is a very low res picture of Matrix. Is this Matrix sanctioned or is it not Matrix sanctioned? Do we have someone impersonating to be captured by Matrix? Why would someone do that? That doesn't sound like a very fun idea. Why would you want to pretend like you were captured by Matrix? I don't know. Why did I do it once? I, you know, these are answers that I can't answer. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Now, next piece of mail uh, is from Sarah Say. See, oh, on the back it says, I taped this up with invisible tape, which I don't think would be invisible, but it actually is. Dear Jory Karen, I don't have any lined paper, so I've used graph paper. Anyways, I have been watching for a while, not in a creepy way, but I'm glad you are still making the mail vlogs. I have a few questions I have wanted to know. Then they scribbled out and wrote, shit. Number one, where do you put all the mail you get? Uh, most of it goes to the recycling center. Two, when you were redoing your house, how did you know what to do? Or were you just guessing? Well, right now, I've done a lot more demolition than reconstruction. I am really good at demolition. Reconstruction, you know, it, it, I'm, I'm terrible at it, actually. So how do I know what to do? It's pretty easy. You just uh, destroy. Um, I'm quite skilled in destroying things. Ladies. Uh, next is a postcard. Oh, first postcard. I said that weird. I had some lemon pepper over here. So when I said, oh, I, like, creepy. Okay, postcard. It says, what's the PC term for you people? Jory, just a thought. You should let Ryan on the videos, even if he is just your garbage bitch. I think running commentary and banter would be funny. Are you moving back into the tent for the summer? Why would I move back into the tent for the summer when I am in the house? On the back here, there is two pictures. One is Rest in Peace Flower, and the other one is me and Woods. Thanks. That's, that's pretty accurate, actually. It's quite... I am... I am three quarters as tall as trees. Yep. It's 
true. Truth. Truth right there. Next is a postcard from Sarah Edwards, I think is. This looks like a postcard that would be from Sarah Edwards. Let's see. Hey, Jory, what's up? I'm going up to my college for the Victoria Day, kind of like the Canadian version of Memorial Day weekend. But I'll probably be back by the time you read this on Chacomas. Your house reminds me so much of my cottage. It's not my cottage. It's my family's cottage. Do you ever go fishing? We don't have a fireplace, but we do have a wood stove. We have chipmunks, too, and we feed them roasted nuts. Have a hot biscuit week. See, no one likes roasted nuts. Why would you do that? And, uh, mm, what else did you say? Do I ever go fishing? I don't go fishing. Um, I've never been a fan of seafood, and so when I catch the fish, I'm just like, well, I'm kind of pissing that fish off, and I'm not going to eat it, so why did I just do that? Next piece of mail is junk mail. It's from AARP, and it is from Tim's Vlogs S. So, sent this. Tim's Vlogs sent this. What is it? What is it? Is this paper or plastic? This is plastic. I have a membership card to AARP. Automatic free membership? No, wait, no. Tim's, Tim's Vlogs S this has a membership to AARP. That's, that's good. Because I can use that. I wonder how old he said I was. Great. Awesome. Uh, I'll keep one of those. The other one? That one can die in a fire. Where the hell did this pen come from? Okay, next piece of mail is from Marcin Treher. Just a wee bitty note inside here. Open it up. All right. Dear Jory Karen, hi, I know my handwriting is shit. Well, too bad. Well, anyway, I wanted to say hi and giggity to you. I love, I think that says giggity. I love, is it a good idea to microwave this and hope that you don't stop making that or Jory Karen opens mail and shit. Well, I don't know much more to say. Don't. But, ha, Bisky, P.S., uh, g gargity, gag, gag, and you probably won't, won't get this letter, but if you do, then that is good. Uh, why did he say you probably won't get this letter? Like, do you have that little faith in the postal system that you don't think I'll get this? I'm pretty sure, I, I, I mean, I have no way of knowing, but I imagine I get near 100% of my mail. Unless you guys messed up or something. Next piece of mail is from... Is it from Russia or something? It looks like it's from some... It's not fucking American, that's for sure. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, fuck yeah, money. Hell yeah. Hells yeah. Sverigerish wrist bank. A kroner. <coughs> Where the hell is a kroner from? I know I should know this. I have a couple of those. Hi, Jory. Excuse my spelling. Ha, Bisky! What happened to GTFO My Deck? It'll come back. About that baby you wanted, how old should the baby be? I mean, newborn is probably a good age to start with. I also got you some candy and money all the way from Sweden. Sweden. Ever been? No, I haven't been. This is like the first foreign money I've gotten in a really long time. I'm quite excited about that. Can you see how happy I am? That was my happy face. This is my sad face. This is definitely junk mail. Free sample of N Ning Ningxia Red. I have a bad feeling about this one. This one, you know when you can just feel through the bag and you're like, this kind of feels like lube, but you keep playing with it. What's with that? Why would I do that? I don't know. Life to its fullest. See, with a tagline like that, it has to be lube. A naturally delicious nutrient infusion. Well, that doesn't sound like lube. I'm like, should I eat this? Dear friend, thank you for your interest in Ningzika Red from Young Living. Encloses a sample and information about this antioxidant packed super juice. Please enjoy your sample and review the information. Tastes delicious refrigerated. I'd imagine juices probably taste better refrigerated. Uh, 
Drink one ounce of red as anything and pair of all of this. Blah, blah, blah. This shit's expensive. Should I drink it? I probably should. Should I drink it right now? This shit scares me. It's expensive. Maybe I... <coughs> this is dangerous. What if I like it and then I'm forced to buy more of it? Although I think I got another sample of it. I gotta at least try it. Am I supposed to add water to it? Are there directions on it? What the fuck am I supposed to do? This shit. Who wouldn't put directions on this shit? Are you stupid? Come on! Enjoy delicious refrigerated. What the fuck do I do with it? I'm gonna kick cancer's ass one day. It doesn't taste too good. But I really should down it. Oh wait, does this have any shit that also the other thing has? I just want to make sure I won't die here. Well, that's great. This one doesn't really have any information on it. Well, what's the worst that could happen, right? You know? Oh, God. I mean, I won't end up pregnant or anything. If I die in the next couple of days, don't try any of the products that I have tried today. Just a little helpful advice. Okay, moving on. Next letter is from... Sheridan Blackhead, your pal from across the pond. Again, here's it. Is it the candy that you should have given me in your last thing? Doesn't look like there's any candy in there. Hey, Jory, just thought that it would be funny to send you some crap I found on my school's computer system. I hope you like them, and I never want you to throw them away. Yours, Sheridan Blackhead. Shout out to my gangsters, Janet and Matrix. I got. <coughs> I'm sorry to say it will all be thrown out. Okay, there's, uh, whatever that is. There's, uh, there's this thing here. Uh, local employment research task and a periodic questionnaire. Thanks for sending me that. Next is a piece of mail from Finish Safe. Addressed to Mr. Negus Jory Karen. Uh, flash tags. What do we got? Is it awesome? Please let it be awesome stuff. But thank you for registering with Finish Safe. Your Finish Safe tags are enclosed. So we have seven tags in all, which are designed to be carried on your keys, shoes, bikes, and wallet. That's kind of scary. It's it's a bunch of tags that you can put on yourself so that if you ever are found, you know, like passed out, there'll be a lot of medical information. But there's actually information about me on here, like my birth year. I guess people could find that, but it's... It's just weird that people know that about me. You know? Like, people know my... I'm, I guess I do put it out there, but... Alright, moving on. Is some mail from... It doesn't say who it's from. Let's open this shit. Random question. Anyone out there ever been Tokyo Drifting? I know it's just called Drifting, but I can't help but say Tokyo Drifting with it. There is a picture of Marilyn Monroe in there. <laughs> That's sexy, right? Yeah, yeah. There is a notebook in here. It says Death Note. How to use it. The human whose name is written in this note shall die. Whose name is written in here? No one's name is written in here. So no one's going to die? No one will ever die? All right. Dear Jory, Habisky, included this drawing from my sketch pad. Guess who? I got it, dude. There's no way you can say that's wrong. Foreign coinage. Eastern Car Caribbean currency, because I haven't seen anyone give you that yet. That's some pretty cool looking coins. I like the ones that are weird shaped. And square? I've never seen a square one. Okay. There's a toothbrush. Uh, my old death note, so you can finally kill Matrix Devonshire. Rules are in the cover. Yours truly, Chanella. Chanella? P.S. Shout out to Chanella, my brother, Junior, and my friend, Yannick, and my sister, Yancy. We, Yancy, I guess. We love your videos. Please, please, what? you didn't write, we love your videos, please? There's nothing there. We're from St. Kitts, an island in the Caribbean. These coins are really light, and the adhesive from the tape is kind of sticking to the coins. It feels like tin. Moving on is a box from Jason Madsen. Is it candy? I really would enjoy candy. There is a newspaper from Jasper, Minnesota. 
curfew whistle silence. Which marks the end of the century long practice. Okay, there's two Chico sticks. Awesome. Some Reese's candy. Two of them. There is a king size Kit Kat. Oh, no, wait. There are two king size Kit Kats in here. There is a packet of beef jerky. I love beef jerky. There is some Reese's Pieces, eggs, uh, Twix. Hey, that was candy. I love candy. Jory, hi, how are you? Here's some candy in case your stockpile is getting low. It did. It's like gone. Giving that stuff to Ben Hughes is really all I had left. Well, no, that's not true. But it's all... And just... Eh, nah, I don't know what I'm talking about. I know you don't like to read, but I also sent a copy of our local newspaper. Who knows? Maybe you'll find it interesting. Jason. P.S. Ha, Bisky! And there's also a bag. It's a tote bag for your babies. You can put babies in here. It's true. True. Free sample from Folgers. I don't drink coffee. Let me guess. There's coffee samples in here. Coffee sample? Okay. Next is a piece of mail from Maddie Gott, soon to be Xanagot. There's gibberish on the back as well. Thoroughly confused. Opening the letter. What do we got? What do we got? Dear Jory Karen, hi. You are the most coolest person I don't know, other than Johnny Depp. So my favorite people's list goes like this. Johnny Depp, Jory Karen, my mother, my stepfather, my real dead father. Wait, you don't know your mom or your stepfather or your your real father? So I'm sorry. I do not have any candy for you, but I do have a poem a friend of mine showed me. Flip over to see. It's about breaking up with a boy. Ah, oh, that's so depressing. I'll show you that poem after this one. Friendship. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's a good Friendship is like peeing in your pants. Everyone can see it, but only you can feel its true warmth. Thank you for being the pee in my pants. That's great. Here's that other poem. Never say, oh, that's depressing. I'm going to skip that one. P.S. I love jewelry, hippie sign, pens, mail, and shit. Heart, smiley, hippie sign from Zanya Gott. Thank you. Thank you. Next piece of mail is from Mizkin. Looks like junk mail to me, boys. Looks like junk mail to me. Investigate. Get closer. Are these stickers? They're coupons Fucking coupons. Why would I want coupons? One free bottle of any 12-ounce Nakano natural seasoned rice vinegar. I don't really need it. Stupid coupons. Okay, next piece of junk mail is from One Sale a Day. Shipped to Dude That Microwaves Shit. That's me. <laughs> I don't like being sick. Being sick sucks. Jory Karen feels like shit and shit. That's an adequate name for that. Okay, where did I put that piece of mail? Luckily, I think there was another identical one here. This one's addressed to Ms. Jory Karen, though. It kind of feels like the same thing. Yep. Oh, whoa, no, this one's different. Is this comfortable? What ear does it go into? Does it matter? Just so I can, like, talk and stuff? Doot, doot, boo! Chloe, get me the president. Just do this for me, Chloe! Don't fight it. Don't fight it. See, that's where I go to whenever I have that one of those things. Where did that mail go? This is weird. Moving on. A, a letter. It says from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, but then it's crossed out with green marker, but not very well. You can see right through it. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we, got? we got a monkey that is sniffing his own butt. Okay. That's going up there. All right. I'll just leave his butt facing you guys. Oh, shit. There's Pez. There's candy. There's candy. Okay, what do we got? Dear Jory, I'm the biggest fan of your show. You make everything funny. Your microwaves die quickly. Try fixing that. <laughs> Bye. Falvio Gagino. Fal Falvio Gagino. I'll do what I can to make sure they don't die as quickly, but really... I hate all of them. That's not true. I love them, but I express my love in really weird ways, like putting stuff inside of them, turning them on high, and leaving it there until they die. Because I 
Run it straight down to death. Next, we smell is a postcard from Amari Amakiaria. I just want to say Amarika. Now say Eric. <laughs> Eric. A commemoration to John, Riley, and Jory for many awesome microwave experiments and with more to come. P.S. I hope the image arrives little or no smudging. Oh, it arrives with little or no smudging. That is awesome. It's of St. Margaret II, who is watching over all microwaves. How many wings does this thing have? Six wings? And a scarf. What's with the scarf? What's with the wings? I don't understand. That's a good one, though. That is a good one. Next postcard is of a cat with rainbow shooting out of its butt. <laughs> From Tyler. It says, hi, Jory, what's up? So, about the microwave show, why are you ending it? What's up with that? Oh, yeah, and nyan, 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 cat. Nyan, cat. I don't really know this meme. I see it popping up, but I don't really know it or understand it. I really should stay ahead of... I should know my meme. Mem? Mimi. Mimi? How do you even pronounce that? I don't know. That's how out of the loop I'm. P.S. Ha, Bisky Tyler. <clears throat> Why is there a Pop-Tart on its back? Maybe that's part of the meme. I don't know. I don't understand. Next piece of mail is from International Mulch Company. I hope there's free samples. Free samples of mulch can be pretty cool. Da, 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 da. There is free samples. That's some disgusting looking mulch. What does the letter say? Thank you for your interest in our full suite of recycled rubber products. This is rubber? Earth Tone? Rubberific Mulch? You know, mulch literally does just grow on trees, right? Like, literally, it grows on trees. That expression means this shit is plentiful. You really don't have to use rubber. You, you don't. It literally grows on trees, guys. Maybe we could solve other problems, too. Let's, uh... We can make rocks out of styrofoam. Yeah! <laughs> we can make rocks out of styrofoam. Shit! <laughs> Dude, they're so much easier. You know, it's recycled, so we you, people will love it. Any investors out there? This guy's making money. Next letter is from Stacy Pinko. It's you pinko commie bastard. <laughs> uh, letter opener time. Ready? Swing. All right. All right. All right. Uh, dearest jury. Ha, Bisky! I'm writing this soon after you defriended me on Facebook. I'm extremely offended. As soon as you get this Ha, Bisky letter, you must add me again. I am disappointed in your loyalty towards our long friendship. You even met my mother and wore her fleece at Dan Brown's Boston Gathering. I remembered you. This is the letter of complaint that I promised you, but I made it short because I know how you hate reading long letters. Hey, mine's only one paragraph, bitches! I hot biscuit you, Jory. Lots of unicorns, Stacy P. P.S. Get it time. And then there's a there's a kitty, and it looks like it's about to attack me. Is there an address? On? No. Okay. Sweet. Uh, uh, is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. There it is. Uh, uh. I don't defriend people on Facebook unless they tag me in photos that I'm really just not in, and usually it's applications that do that, or if an application is posted to my wall. Those are like the two things that will get you defriended. And I usually do that because when that stuff happens, usually it's because your account has been hacked. So when I remove you, eh, I'm sorry. You know, I just thought your account was hacked. You were, you were kind of being not yourself. I was going to say the B word there, but that's kind of harsh. Okay, next thing is some perfume. It's boss. I'm all stuffed up, so I probably won't be able to smell it. This just in. I can still smell it. Next, four maps from Canada. What are they? It's just a map in a bag. You can't get simpler than that, okay, people? Map in a bag. What is it of? If you want to view... It's of Nova Scotia. How much of Nova Scotia's economy is tourism? Because I've gotten so much tourism stuff from them. It's kind of ridiculous how much tourism... It must be like 75% of their economy. What's the other 25%? I don't know. Beating baby seals? Is that what they do up there? I don't know. Next piece of mail is from Simple Systems, Stockholm. I probably shouldn't insult a region where I get a lot of mail from. There's a packing list involved here. 
I love how there's a packing list, but it's all in Swedish, so I have no idea what it means. What is that? I hope it's candy. Is it? I don't know. This thing was scanned by X-ray for security. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Why are you being so difficult? I have a feeling there's candy in here, and you're keeping me from getting my candy. Don't do that. Fuck yeah, there's candy in here. There is also a postcard from Thomas Lindblow. <laughs> okay, what do we got for candy? We got Gotti, whatever that is, I have no idea. We got Polly with a taste of chocolate, a rock, but, and vanilla. There's a crypto copter, whatever thingy. Bilar? I have no idea. Super Salta. The fuck is this shit? Double Nougat. There's a whole bunch of lollipops, and they're black. I don't understand. And there's also a candy bar. This? I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try this candy bar. If you're ever in Sweden and you see uh, this fucking thing here, let me review it right now to see if you should buy it or not. One plus is it didn't melt. Quite similar. Well, it did, but... Not. Mm. It's chocolate with bits of toffee in it. Really good chocolate. Really good toffee. All around, gets two thumbs up. I'd say buy it. Thank you, Thomas, for uh, foreign candy. I love foreign candy. Pretty good. Now, moving on, moving on. Another map. We can skip that. We know what that is. One sale a day. Another thing. One sale a day. And this is how I got those headphone thingies. So what's this? What is this? What is this? What is, what is this? Tell me in the comments. What is this? It's like a little tin. And it's sharp. Okay, next is a postcard of San Francisco. It says, Jory, you know you want to come here. Jory, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Ha, Bisky Janet. Eventually, someday, I will come to San Francisco. I've been to San Francisco before, but I didn't spend that too much time in there. Only really around the Golden Gate Bridge, you know what I mean? <laughs> next piece of mail is from Olive Crest. Strong families, safe kids. Dear Colonel Jory, thank you so much for your interest in keeping children safe. Every 10 seconds in America, a child is reported beaten, raped, verbally assaulted, or severely neglected. It's through the support of individuals like you that awareness can lead to action toward preventing child abuse. In close, you'll find achieving, keeping kids safe stickers you requested online. How many stickers are there? There's about 4 million stickers here. Th they lumped in verbally assaulted with raped and beaten. Okay, moving on, moving on, is a packet, pre-sorted, breast health stuff. Is there a test I can do right now? Where's that at? Will I find a lump? My breasts, myself. Page two. Breasts are more than just a part of our bodies. They are intimately linked to our sense of femininity, how we view ourselves as women. For centuries, breasts have represented different things to us. Women, oh, different things to us, women, at different stages of our lives. For example, a rite of passage into womanhood, a symbol of our femininity, a demonstration of our ability to nourish another life, as women, our breasts are very much part of who we are, and we often look for ways to accentuate them. For more than 150 years, women worldwide have devised ways to reshape their breasts using everything from lotions, suction devices... Falsies made of spring cloth and rubber and corsets, the precursor to the modern bra. Uh, what is this about? No. Oh. Next, in last piece of mail from Market Way, or whatever that is. Sounds like a company. Brochures. What? What a downer. What a what a downer. Last piece of mail. Fuck that. Okay. So uh, that was all of the mail. Uh, that energy drink thing I had in the beginning, I didn't really feel much of a boost from it. Uh, although I didn't fall asleep, so... Plus, maybe? 
if you're awake, but you're not, like, really awake, uh, maybe I can't give an endorsement. I have no idea how to feel about that. I got more of a buzz off of three pixie sticks. Ben Hughes, send him love. I want you to treat him like you would me. <laughs> Enjoy, Ben. Uh, ooh, postcards. Before I pick out the winning postcard, I want you all to give a big thank you to the person who edited this video right here. I was sick this episode, so I assure you it was really, really boring to actually edit. Because when I'm sick, I'm a little less happy. Okay, now it's time to find the winning postcard. I can't really pick anything other than this one right here. The St. Margaret one. I mean, look how much work went into this one. This one? Good postcard. Good postcard. I like, I like postcards like this. So, uh, Makiera from Texas, you will be getting a postcard back. Congratulations, confetti! There's no actual confetti there. Just think about it, though. Maybe there is. Maybe the editor will put confetti in there. I don't really know how to do it myself, so... If he does or doesn't, whatever. Uh, that's about it for this episode of Jory Karen Opens Mail and Shit. As always, that's how you can get a postcard back from me. This is my address. Uh, this is the address of Ben Hughes. Please send him some mail. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys. Uh, you wanna... You wanna meet again for a date next week? Uh-huh, yeah, maybe. Maybe it'll be a romantic little get-together. You know, maybe it's 20 minutes in, of heaven, or 30 minutes, because I can last 30 minutes doing mail. Ladies, 